Good evening, everyone. I would like to thank Ace Update to giving this opportunity to present my private project. And uh, I'll just share my screen. It's private because they are at the too far end of the country. One is in the east and one is on the west of the country. The so first being the Imperial Age, and which is one of the tall buildings. I've done many tall buildings in my career. I had an opportunity. I'm very happy for that. And uh, there is being one of them uh, uh, which is recently completed. And the other one uh, is the 42 in Kolkata. And uh, all these things are like uh, rightly put it as awe inspiring skyscraper iconic landmarks. So this is part of the imperial development what we have. Uh, we already have these two towers which you see in the background. And this is one of the first re uh, redevelopment, slum redevelopment schemes in Mumbai, which is uh, uh, one of the kind of uh, government initiatives which was initiated by Akhret uh, Hafi Fund and where we try to uh, bring the, the, the slum people into a better uh, living condition. And as part of the uh, slum redevelopment, then you have this uh, the same towers coming up there. So this project is part of the entire development. Where at the backdrop you see these two big towers, which were the first uh, iconic tall buildings in the one of the other buildings in India for a long time in 2010, and later on it was surpassed by other tall buildings. And in the similar, in the same development, we have this uh, new, uh, newly completed tower, if you call it the Imperial Edge. So these are part of the, all the stakeholders that are considered to work on that. So this is the entire object where uh, right, uh, left hand side of you see the entire development of what we call for the entire building was completely filled up with slums. And then these two uh, towers, what I showed you in the again, picture, where this which had come up in 2010. And is the, uh, the one mark on the red is the newly completed tower which uh, was commissioned in 2020. So if you look at this right, the left hand side bottom corner, the entire with the orange color building, what you see are the slum building. And then we are we left with a very small pocket right at the end of the, the entire development. So and hence we call it edge because it's actually happening at the edge of the property. So we uh, the challenge was to uh, how to do the circulation and uh, mitigate things. So what we did, uh, if you look at the right hand side anyway, uh, since uh, the entire space, uh, the surrounding roads were used for the existing slum dwellers with the rehabilitated buildings. The remaining area, what was left only for the same purpose, was the uh, front uh, uh, road, and that's it. And so that's the reason why what we did was to look at the red line. We took the circulation and drop off inside the building itself. And once we do it, we took it inside, then we had to see that how it has to be captivating and uh, it has to be that all inspiring, large, uh, you know, lobby feeling. And since this was part of a luxurious scheme, we had to make it really grand and different. So this was how we did it. So when you come in, when, uh, and since the uh, site was so small and with a restricted area, though we had to work with almost 200 car park, we took a uh, car lift and a mechanized system and uh, did a mechanical puzzle car park for 200 cars. And at the ground level, since we had to create a large, nice uh, grand uh, entrance lobby, which is also like a drop off uh, for the you know the main uh, area of the uh, the lobbies. And uh, this is how it looks. So in the and that, that that's, that's the reason why we took the height as uh, uh, 12 meters high. So this entire lobby was 12 meters high. When the drop off was happening with all the uh, cars also going into the car lift at the same time, also acting like a porch. So these are the existing uh, actual images of the, of the of the lobby today, uh, how it looks, and uh, uh, on the left hand side, what you see is the, the the outside area which we have beautified it so it looks nice when you're standing in the pool. At the too far end, you can see the car two car elevators where we take the car uh, on top into the person car park where once you get dropped off. And at the top, we have this nice beautiful uh, light fixture we have in the specially designed and curated and it, uh, they're almost like a ton uh, in, in weight. Uh, this is the, what are one more image of the existing lobby, how it looks today. This is the suction system which I would like to show you because it's, there's a very specialty of this building because at the ground floor, like I told you, we, we had the entire space for the drop off and the high uh, triple height area what we have, uh, I mean, the four uh, times high area what we had for the pool. And uh, uh, all the columns and structural system had to be kept on our side while you know, the remaining area was to be left out for the porch and the large driveway. At the same time, the same space was also to be used for the car park. So uh, the entire car park is happening in this uh, big void, what you see here. And that's the reason why this is how it looks at the ground floor and at the typical floor of the void where the parking system happens.
And the beauty is that once after the parking system is over, when you look at this entire section of the building, where the entrance lobby gets over 12 meters down below, and then the remaining portion on top up to almost uh, 60 meters in height, we have this parking uh, tower. And on top of that, we have a nice clubhouse. So where the parking, like what you see on the right hand side, the bottom table with all the columns uh, on one side with the parking happening within that. And then on top of this, we have a large open area which we created. Again, that again made uh, we made it uh, almost 8.2 meters in height so that we could get a nice swimming pool with openness. Uh, since this was a very restricted site, we had to keep everything together in, uh, within the building and try to speak in the openness. So here what is happening was uh, the parking system was over. We had to keep these girders and big deep girders. This is the uniqueness of this particular project. Where if you see the blue color uh, suction system is uh, all happening in the horizontal direction. And uh, to create that large open space, even the central area where we have put the pool so that it, you can have the open and you have the pool deck. But as soon as you finish this uh, 8 meter high pool deck area, entire column turns into a vertical line. What you see is yellow color and little markings here. And the whole structure system changes. And that's the beauty of this structure and that's the reason why it's very, very iconic and a special kind of a building. This is a scene how what you see at the pool level, where we have this large pool which is 8 meter high. We have a little lounging, uh, little uh, youth bar kind of an area. Remaining area, we have a little open gym, and this entire uh, space looks very, very beautiful. And, and it has a complete, since it's happening at the, almost the 23rd level of the, uh, you know, on a regular floor. So it's, uh, it's very high, and you start getting an infinity edge, and all, you start getting the view of the entire city also. Going to the typical floor plan, once this club and this pool is over, then we have uh, about 25, 26 uh, typical floors uh, where we have this regular uh, two apartments per floor. And uh, it's, it's a super luxury, so it's uh, almost four bedrooms, and it's it's, it's quite luxury. Many of the uh, people who bought it were so happy that they came together and made one apartment person. And that at night of it, at the rooftop, again, we have uh, another swimming pool, which is uh, taken by the penthouse there with a uh, stairwell right from the apartment to the terrace. And there, again, you, know, you have a large pool with open deck. So this is the suction system for the residential which I was just mentioning that it turns and becomes vertical after the horizontal and then the rooms have been tucked in with that. This is how it looks at the rooftop level, the entire building today at the, from the roadside. And then these are the views from the top level where the pool is there. There is a special feature also in this particular building where we have a right since it's happening at the edge of the property and that's the, the corner what you see first is this particular corner what, corner what you see on the left hand side screen. And for this, we had engaged a designer from London especially to do this, which is uh, having a very, very dynamic kind of an artwork, and which uh, looks different at different angles. So this is how uh, uh, it has a lot of features in the entire facade. This corner we have with uh, the art feature, then we have this metallic grill, uh, GRC grill, uh, sorry, GRC grill here, which hides the parking structure, and then on top of it, we have some uh, nice elements to hide the girders where the, uh, the columns are turning. So all this is, uh, overall we have a lot of elevation features which makes it very very interesting. This is the, the artwork which I was saying, this is like the and lattice work where small small pieces of metal of different sizes where uh, you know, uh, fits in a different angles to give a three dimensional kind of an effect. So it's a very very special kind of feature uh, which has been specially put in this particular. So this is how it looks today when it's already built. This is a tall structure, almost 220 meters tall. And uh, at right, you said it's called the Imperial Edge. Uh, right hand side, image, you can see little uh, openness here where you have the swimming pool, which I was mentioning earlier. And the, it's very, very captivating uh, with the size and the shape of the building itself is uh, quite icon. These are a few other images of the tower and uh, the straight clean lines of the balconies and the corners. Even the edge of the, uh, we have slightly cut in and scooped out. So it, that gives a nice uh, little three-dimensional like three, 270 degree view of the you know city from the all rooms. Uh, the aspect ratio of the building is special one, which is almost 11, uh, one, one is to nine point eight. With the new code, it's one is to eight, but in this particular thing, it was done before that, so it is there. Uh, well, the other building which I would like to start is in the east of index was the 42. Again, that's again one of the tallest buildings. Uh, which was uh, uh, there till 2020. Now there are some homes which have been built and now it's surpassing. But still, this is a special because in the entire east of India, this is the tallest building. 
and it has also a very very special feature which I just mentioned. So these are all the, the owners, there are four stake, uh, stakeholders and these are the entire team of the consultant who are part of this particular project. So this is the location uh, right in the, the heart of Calcutta where uh, the you know, main Maidan is there, you can also see the, the, the stadium and things uh, around the Eden Garden. The Victoria Temple is just opposite, you can see it from the podium itself. And it's, it's a very, very prominent. I've seen all of the buildings around are uh, low rise. This particular tower stands right in the middle, and it, it, from every part of the city, it's seen. Uh, I think I'll, I'll turn to because there's some technical area I'm not able to go. I'll just quickly run through the slides, if you don't mind. So these are the other uh, the, the presentations and the, the, the building how it looks today. Maybe I work in a large lobby here and here the aspect ratio is almost 1 is to 11 and these are few of the images of the structure. 